Hey everyone, this is Karsh. I am the CEO and founder here at OneTap. We help a lot of different people create a check-in process and keep track of tenants. And something that we commonly come across is Google Forms and using that to keep track of attendance. Google Forms is a pretty cool product in my opinion because it's very versatile. It's also free and it's also a Google product so it's very well built and maintained. Uh, and also simple to use, right? Just simple and easy to understand. So now we can talk about like, for example, when we talk about creating a check-in process for an event, right? So someone's showing up to my event or maybe I'm holding a class, right? I just wanna keep track of attendance for adults that show up uh, or kids who show up, for example, to my school or to my class. We can do that pretty easily with Google Forms. Uh, we can also do a little bit more advanced stuff like keeping track of employee attendance or like just kind of meeting attendance for workplace. Uh, at the end of the day, it's just like a simple tool that just helps us get like, hey, here's all the, you know, like the data of when people checked in and here's, uh, you know, all the information that they typed in. So I'm going to go through this one by one and show you guys how to create a check-in process with Google Forms. So very, uh, so very first thing that you want to do is you want to go to forms.google.com or just go to docs.google.com slash forms. Just either way, just once you're inside Google Forms, you want to hit the uh, create new blank form um, uh, button right here. Once you're inside that, you can just title, put in a title here. So check in, for example, for um, I'm gonna say like for for my for my event, right? And then put in some sort of a description here so that people know what's going on here when they show up to the play, uh, whenever they show up to the page, just, you know, if there's some custom instructions or maybe it's like, hey, you know, this is an address. Maybe it's like, hey, we're at this address. Make sure to, you know, uh, make sure to arrive here or maybe park your car over there, et cetera, right? Um, and then like you will have the name field, which is required because you definitely want to collect that uh, or an ID number. This is an optional field, so it's not required. And once you've done that, uh, you can add other questions here like, hey, what's your reason for visiting, right? Um, or like, how did you find out about us? All that is like kind of optional. Uh, now, when we talk about like creating a, creating a form, something that people try to do a lot uh, and like a very common thing to do that's also, um, uh, that's just very, uh, that you know, that's also possible with Google Forms is to, is to use this for multiple events, right? Maybe it's a two, three day event, right? So you can kind of ask questions right here. You could be like, hey, for example, what uh, event are you visiting, right? So maybe this is like, instead of signing in for one event, maybe it's like check in for my building, right? Check in for my, uh, check in for my workshop, right? Or maybe like check in for, maybe it's like a, you know, a building and you got like different floors here. Maybe you got like different uh, events going on, uh, et cetera, right? So maybe like, for example, check in for country fair, right? And you got like, for example, what event are you visiting, right? So you got like questions such as like, Okay, I'm here to, for example, like um, hypothetically, like, you know, see animals or I'm just here to like kind of like just I'm just here for like the food court or like maybe there's just different events that are going on, right? Like, for example, music festival or maybe like uh, circus, etc. cetera, right? Um, so you can you you can definitely get that information. And that's, that's just more like survey fields. Uh, for this demo, I'm going to keep it simple. After we're done with this, we'll hit the preview button and you'll get a link right here. And that's like the same link that you should get whenever you hit send and then you click on the link right here. You can shorten this too, just so, just so you can send this via text message, or you can leave it like that right there, like elongated. Either one works. Um, I'm gonna take this link right here and I'm gonna put this into a QR code generator because that's like the next thing that we wanna do so that um, people are able to you know, sign in themselves. QR code generator is super important because this kind of, what, what, what this is doing in here is that like you could share the link with people and you could send it out to them and they can fill out this form and sign in. This is what they're gonna see, right? This is what this is what this is what they're gonna see, by the way. But uh, with a QR code, this process can be um, what do you call it? This this process can be visitor side. So what we'll do is that we'll just go to this website right here, and you can find any QR code generator. You don't have to use this one. Uh, it's not like a sponsored product or anything. And you just generate QR, and then you just hit the generate QR code, and then you can download it. Um, sometimes these websites, especially the free ones, will have a lot of paywalls, or they might even ask you to sign up, or etc. In this case, the QR code is being generated, so we don't have to do that with this website. It will just hit, go into my downloads folder. But if it does ask you to do that, here's a pro tip. You can just take a screenshot of the QR code or do print screen, and it's kind of different for Mac and Windows, uh, and that will be the final QR code, so you don't really have to worry about going through their paywall.
And then you want to create a document right here, like, you know, a check-in instruction document. Put in the same instructions that you put on the Google Forms, like, hey, it's great to have you here. Please scan the QR code to continue. And take a screenshot of the mobile web page and just put it right here. Just say, hey, you will see this page. Any other instructions, right? Like, you know, for example, make sure to uh, park your car in the parking lot um, A. Hey, that's the that's the only one reserved for our event, right? That's an example, right? You can add all those instructions right there and then just hit print right here and you're good to go. When you scan this on the phone, you're gonna see this web page right here. And what you will see is that uh, whenever uh, whenever an entry is filled out, so for example, I wanna fill out an entry right here called John, ID number one, just saying hi, submit. You'll go over here on the Google Forms to the responses side, and you can see all the responses that took place. And it kind of does a nice visual survey too, like the ID, you know, for example, what people typed and what, you know what they're saying for those survey questions. And you want to hit link to Google Sheets or download a CSV. Either one works. Uh, for this video, I'm going to focus on CSV just because a lot of people use Microsoft products. And once you download that CSV, you're going to see this right here. Um, it's pretty easy to read. It's self-explanatory. These are all the form fields like name, ID number, what's your reason for visiting. And uh, one of the biggest fields, and this is probably one of the key reasons why Google Forms is even used for uh, sign-in processes, um, is because it automatically generates a timestamp of when this entry was created. So you can go to Google Sheets or you can go to like, for example, uh, Microsoft uh, Excel right here and you can just like kind of turn this, you can kind of put formulas and stuff and you can treat this as a data object and you can kind of date field and you can kind of start to like, you know, do all sorts of analysis from it. So if you're using this, for example, to figure out like, hey, did people check in on time, right? You can do that here. Or for example, did uh, people, uh, if, you're, if it's a multiple day event, how many check-ins did I get on day one? Or how many people showed up on that? Yeah, or like on that day, right? So. These are the pretty these are the pretty common use cases and at the end of the day a lot of people are just using it to kind of keep track of like historical records like they just want to put it on the books like hey we have this amount of this amount of people this many amount of people and here's the history of when they signed in or for just bookkeeping purposes and this works pretty well you just save this file and you just keep it around um, and then you just organize it by date and you're good to go yeah so that's pretty much it Google Forms is uh, pretty simple it's uh, self-explanatory um, it's really easy to like kind of get get all that data um and a little bit about one tap uh the reason why people would use us is because when things get a little bit more advanced like when you have survey questions and you also have signatures you want to track maybe you want to take a photo of the person who's checking in you want to have more fields like location when did this where, where did this check-in take place uh you want to have these organized and instead of having to create all these forms like different forms for different days uh what we do is we just have like lists on one tap on our one tap dashboard that you guys can just use uh, that keeps everything organized uh, by like different days and by different events and into folders as well when we talk about recurring lists. And at the end of the day, like it just, it's a little bit more, it's just, it, it's still a very simple product. One tab is a very simple product, but it's, but it's organized around creating a, creating a more a robust check-in process. So on one tab, it's pretty simple. You just go over to like, for example, like the create list page and we do the same thing here, check in for my event. And description here and then what we'll do is like we'll say like just tap to check in and create a list so it's about the same amount of steps to create you know kind of like Google form and then do this uh, and then what we can do is we can just like kind of do add profiles well uh, sorry the profiles are like you know the visitors who are in your contact database it's like your address book but we don't even have to do any of that we just hit the share check-in link button and we're good to go it just generates a QR code for you just click on it or you just print this and you share this with people and uh, this is the page that they would see. And it's a little bit, since it's organized more around check-ins, it does a lot more stuff. For example, like if I type in John, I can I can hit, re so if, if I'm already in the system, if, I, if, I, if I've already visited before it shows up, if not, I can hit register here. So I'm gonna continue here as John and uh, register and check-in. It has the photos and everything here. They can look at the attendance history. And yeah, that's done. So your check-in process is done. And the advantage behind OneTap is that, uh, remember that field I was talking about where you can kind of see the timestamps? Well, OneTap, uh, since it's a check-in product, it focuses on a lot more stuff. So it shows my location, where I did the check-in, to you know the time, you can also edit that. Did I check in with the link? Uh, how I checked in, like just with you know like a normal method, I didn't take a photo or anything to check in. 
and then it also gives you uh, it also gives them individual private QR passes so like if they show up in person you can scan those it's got a bunch of other stuff like the you know the IP address as well as the phone that did the check-in and all that just for like kind of you know if you're using it for use cases where plagiarism is involved or you just want to have a little bit more kind of confidence in that data that it's not um, that it's trustworthy and then it's got the attendance right here so you can quickly see how many times they've signed in and uh, you can also kind of maintain a like a like a little bit of a database here of that person with photos and avatars and all that um, either way uh, Google Forms uh, this kind of this video sums up how to do things with Google Forms how to keep things very simple create a check-in process with QR codes and then talks a little bit about one tap and then uh, and then I just went through one tap and talked about the overview